Morning, Bert. Good morning, Ernie. So, what's the scripture for today? Today's scripture is John chapter 2, verses 13 through 22, otherwise known as Jesus cleanses the temple. Jesus did maid service? Not exactly, Ernie. Would you like me to read this to you? Oh, sure, Bert. The Passover of the Jews was near, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple, he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Boy, with all those animals, I can see why they needed maid service. <laughs> Making a whip of cords, he drove all of them out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He also poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. Guess he turned the tables on them for a change. <laughs> he told those who were selling the doves, Take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. Guess he wasn't making peace with them. What? Oh, sorry, Bert. Continue. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? Now, that would be an impressive sight to see on HGTV! <laughs> but he was speaking of the temple of his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. So why did Jesus trash the place? Well, Ernie, this account differs strikingly from the accounts in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, in that instead of a concern for the temple malpractices, a den of robbers, Jesus orders that his father's house not be made a marketplace. For the temple system to survive during that time, however, it had to be used as a marketplace. Jesus didn't have an issue with the maleficence or mismanagement. Instead, he calls for a complete dismantling of the entire system. So, they were to destroy the system, and in three days after Jesus' resurrection, he would replace the building with his body. Yeah, that would be about the gist of it, Arnie. Interesting reading, Bert. Hey, how did Jesus run them out of the temple again? Well, let's see here. Um, the scripture says, Making a whip of cords, he drove all of them out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. You mean like this? Yeah! Moving, moving, moving. Oh, they're disapproving. Keep them doggies moving, Rod. <laughs> <laughs>